Hello guys and welcome back. My name is Ariana and I am a WordPress enthusiast like you. So I remember when I started my blog, I was looking for ways to monetize it. So I was told to use one of these sites that they give you some uh, codes and you just put them in your website and you're supposed to have like banners, etc. and also pop-up windows. And the problem with this site was that it became extremely, extremely spammy and it's really not what I wanted for my blog. So, I mean, I don't know much about coding, just like the basics. I know where to put these codes and to go back where I place them and then just remove them. Take, you know, I delete it, save, and then the site should be back to normal. Although this time when I did it, my site completely <laughs> broke. It went on the 404 error and there was no way for me to figure out how to fix it. I honestly wanted to cry. Anyways, the solution I thought was the best for me was just to back up whatever I had, which thankfully was very little, uh, delete WordPress entirely and then start from scratch. And I know this is not the best way to go about it and it, trust me, it was not the best way to go about it. I should have done some research back then, the same research that I did way after I fixed the, the issue. And well, I'm gonna share with you two of the easiest ones that I found online. These, they're from WordPress. Uh, one is when a plugin, one is with the settings. They're very easy to do, especially when you're a beginner like me, they probably can save you lots. So the one with the plugin is called Redirection. Uh, this plugin has been around for like 10 years. It's still getting updates, which means that it's perfect for your blog. You, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, people really recommend it. And I mean, I always say this in the videos, it's free. And it's important for me to let you guys know about this because as beginners, we usually try to save money in certain things, especially if we don't need all the features from plugins or something like that, because I mean, our blogs are still growing. Another easy trick I ran into was within WordPress in the settings, you just have to go to permalinks and then once you get there, you don't have to change or modify anything. You just click save changes and that's it. Uh, that one should actually do the trick and a lot of people said that in many websites and many uh, pages I went to, they were actually recommending this one to do first before anything else. So there you go, they're super, super easy, right? <laughs> now, another thing that you should actually consider doing is creating your own uh, 404 page error and just customize it with the basic elements to just have the person find their way back to the website easily. Um, then again, I don't know about you, but I find that plugins really save my life. They, they're very easy, it, easy to use and they're like the best solution for you, especially if you're a beginner and you don't know much about coding or changing things within WordPress. Uh, the one I can recommend is 404 page plugin. It's really easy to use and it just does the trick. It creates the 404 page error page for you. So let me know guys, do you think these tips are actually, do you think that they're going to be helpful for you in the future in case that your website goes into the 404 error? Or if you have any other tips, you can please share them with me. I would love to hear what you have to say. Thank you again for watching and I'll catch you up next time.